Sometimes you transfer your video files to your desktop and then later on you decide you want to re-edit them on the mobile app. In this short 360 quick tips video I'm going to show you how to move your Insta360 ONE X files from your desktop back to your Insta360 ONE X camera. This process is simple but sometimes the reason people have problems is that they don't keep the original file structure that the camera needs in order to read the file. When you format your memory card in the camera, the camera creates a DCIM folder and then as soon as you start recording the camera creates a subfolder which is called camera 01 and this is where all your files need to be stored in order to be read by the camera. So when you transfer files back to your camera you need to recreate this file structure so that your camera can still read them. So we have three simple options to do this. The first and the most simple option is that if you've already got a card in your camera that's got Insta360 1x files on there then it will already have the file structure in place. So take the card out of the camera and put it in your computer and then drag across your Insta360 ONE X files into the Camera01 folder. And remember for all these methods you have to drag across both files for each clip. So you're dragging across the file for the front camera and the back camera which then makes up one 360 image. If you don't already have a memory card that you're using in the camera then get a new memory card put it in the Insta360 ONE X and format the memory card using the camera. When you format the card, it will create a DCIM folder, but it won't create the Camera01 folder. But to create the Camera01 folder, all we do is we take a photo or we record five seconds of video, and then that will automatically create a Camera01 folder. Now repeat the process that we talked about just a minute ago. So take the card out of your camera, and put it in your computer and then drag across your Insta360 ONE X files into the Camera01 folder. And the final method is that you put the memory card into your computer and you create the entire file structure from your computer. So you format the card, you then create the DCIM folder and then you create a subfolder which is called Camera01 and then you drag your Insta360 ONE X files, both files for each clip, into the Camera01 folder. Now this is the process I use on a PC the process on a Mac might be different. There may be other solutions that people are using. So if you've got a different solution, then please share it in the comments below. For more 360 quick tip videos, as well as tutorials and reviews, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you on the next video.